What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel of Mark here. Today we're going to be showing you how to turn one of these boring old photo frames you can get from Ikea for a couple of quid into this fantastic looking frame which anybody will be happy to display on their wall. Now what this is, it's a vinyl cutout which I've stuck onto the acrylic there and I've cut the logo out there and on the inside there are some red LEDs. And uh, yeah, you just stick it on your wall like that. You do any logo you wanted to, but I thought I'd go with the Stranger Things, you know, with the whole popularity of it at the moment. And uh, yeah, I love the show. So I thought, why not? I'll make one my own. Just stick around, guys, and we'll show you exactly how we make these. So yeah, get the kettle on and enjoy. Let's get to it. So right, guys, I'll we'll start off with one of these photo frames from Ikea. Uh, this is called the La Santa Head frame. So... These are already made into the shadow boxes ready to go. But you can also get the, the river frames from Ikea where you can actually make your own frame to make it into a, a shadow box as such. But yeah, the these ones don't come as the shadow box. You can convert them, but these uh, the Santa head ones are already, they're all ready to go to be used as shadow boxes. So I've already opened one up because I have already recorded this video once, but I wasn't happy with it. So yeah, this might look a little bit stretched up. So I'll open them up for you. And you can see you've got, the, you've got the back, as you normally would the photo frame, but for it to be used as a shadow box, you've got this frame on the inside then too. So that thickness there, so that, that's what makes it a shadow box basically. With the normal frames, you don't get this frame in it. Uh, so yeah, with these frames, as you can see, I've already put the LEDs in it. Like I said, I've already made this video once and I didn't want to take this out and uh, try and re-put it in because it would lose the, uh, the, the the adhesive on there. It wouldn't be as good. So all it is, it's just a cheap, uh, a cheap LED strip I got off Amazon. This was like nine, 10 pound, I think it was. It's a 12 volt red LED. And uh, yeah, what I've done, I've drilled a hole in the side there, and I've also drilled a hole in the side there, which this fits through there, and it also, if I can get him in, basically it'll just go all the way through, and then I can get my plug. So this is a 12, well, this is a multi-volt plug, so I've got it set for the 12 volts. the plug itself so I can just plug that in there and that lights up red nice and right so I put it all on the outside and obviously that's what's gonna cause the, the light to shine through the actual logo and obviously this then it'll sit on the back uh, that way it'll go and then the vinyl will obviously be on here with just the the logo cut out so the light will shine just through that. And you'll have to excuse me if this video just turns into subtitles with music over the top. I am recovering from COVID. So if I have a coughing fit, uh, it can't be helped, unfortunately. But I'll try to uh, try to get through it. That's why I haven't uploaded a video in a while because of COVID. And uh, yeah, it's hit me quite hard. But we're getting through it. Um, right, so I've already cut this vinyl out. I'll put a video on the screen if you want, if you want to watch it being cut out on the vinyl cutter. It's an absolute pain in the ass because now I need to read it. So this is the exact size of this. So what I'm going to do, I think, is take this down because it keeps curling up on itself. And yeah, when I recorded this video originally, I had loads of loads of little air bubbles in it, which I, I I wasn't too happy with. So I thought I'll just re-record it. And yeah, we'll just we'll get it we'll get it right this time. So I need to weed it, which is a bit of a pain. So. I'll get on with doing that now. You're probably not going to want to watch this. 
Uh, right, so yeah, let's just get on with this. Because this is going to be the uh, the most tedious bit. So we've weeded all the bits that we needed to. So where the white is, that's where we've cut the vinyl out and weeded that out. And that's where the light is gonna shine through once it goes onto the uh, the acrylic sheet. So I need to now, I need to put some transfer tape over the top of this now, transfer onto the transfer tape, and then put it onto this. So we don't get any like wrinkles or bubbles, hopefully. My plan's going to be, I'm going to put it on the plastic and then I can pull the plastic away. Yeah, I hope. <laughs> so if I can lay that down. Oh, I missed. How, how did I miss? Right, so that there. And I can slowly and let's get a scraper and we'll just slowly scrape that on. And hopefully avoid any bubbles on the way. taking my time with this because I know messing this bit up means starting again pretty much. And I don't want to start this again. Right. So we're in a good place now. It doesn't care what the top there, but I'm not too bothered about that. Let's make sure it's all stuck on there. Okay, now we cut. And that's up the other. Sorry, get my fat head in the way. This hasn't gone all the way through. Yo, just a quick one while I'm editing this video, I thought I'd let you guys know that I do not recommend trying the method I do next. It when it it didn't it didn't go completely wrong, but it didn't work properly as it should have. So it did cause a lot more problems for me than it would have if I didn't do it this way. So yeah, just a quick one, just to let you know the bit I do next, I don't recommend doing it. So the next time I do make one, I won't be doing it this way. Enjoy the rest of the video. So the method I'm gonna use here to make sure I don't get any air bubbles in there is using my, my water spray bottle with a little bit of uh, dish soap in there. 
same way I've done my window tints. Right. Plunk. Edge to edge on. So luckily with the water, I should still be able to move it. Good. I'm just trying to force any water that is sitting in the bed out. Soak in. From the back though, I can't see any air bubbles in it. I think I've done a rather good job of it. So I head back to the camera. Now I just need to peel this off and hopefully This will all come off. Thing about doing it with water that is, uh, it doesn't stick as well as it would without it, but you kind of need to do it with something this big so you don't get any air bubbles. I'm determined to make it work. Got a winner. A couple of small bubbles in there, but nothing you'd really notice unless, uh, unless you knew you were looking for. Well, 
Never mind, that was gone. Right. to make sure. Here we go. That looks absolutely amazing. That looks so good. All right, let's get a box. So the order these go in, this goes, this goes in that way first. And the Frame goes in next. And we'll force this in there. I'll probably hot glue that in at some point. And it goes that way. How good's that? That looks amazing. But how good does that look? It looks really good in the, in the light, actually, as well. Uh, so you can see the air bubbles a bit. I do need to work on that a bit, to be honest with you. But it's not that bad, to be fair. Not that noticeable. I'm well happy with that, guys. Honestly, I, I wasn't sure how bright the light was going to come through. And I thought I was going to need to uh, laser engrave it. But yeah, no, his it's going to go perfect. I absolutely think that's fantastic. That is something that is going to stay on my wall. This was if such a fun project. And if you've got the, if you've got a vinyl cutter and an Ikea near to you, I would definitely recommend giving this a go. Uh, so you can get the, like the LEDs and stuff off Amazon. They're so cheap. I'm going to get the frames off Amazon as well, if you uh, if you have a look. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, guys, definitely give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're new here and you're not subscribed, click the button down the bottom, the big red thing, can't miss it. All right, guys, so that's going to be the end of today's video. I said, again, I do hope you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. We will see you in the next video. Ta-ta.